Turkey spent nearly two years, along with Hungary, holding up Sweden's accession to NATO. It's bought powerful Russian weapons systems and its outspoken president Recep Tayyip Erdogan openly lambasts leaders of allied Western countries. Relations between Turkey and the West have been strained, to say the least. But with the decision to allow Sweden into NATO in late January, a move that required unanimous approval by all 31 members of the alliance, it's as if a switch has been flipped. Within hours of Ankara's decision, the U.S. approved a $23 billion sale for F-16 fighter jets to Turkey that had been delayed since 2021. The State Department's Victoria Nuland said that Turkey would immediately begin receiving modernization kits for their F-16s, and that Washington would be delighted to welcome Turkey back into the F-35 program for NATO's most advanced fighter jet, as soon as the Allies resolved the issue of Turkey's Russian weapons system purchases. It's worth noting that Hungary has yet to approve Sweden's NATO bid, and remains the only member of the alliance standing in the way of the Nordic country's accession. No country within the Western orbit has taken so many problematic steps only to be welcomed back with open arms, David Lepeska, a Turkish and Eastern Mediterranean affairs columnist wrote for UAE outlet The National. Turkey seemingly has a unique position that allows it to push the envelope and cross lines with its NATO allies. And it's also welcomed back with open arms after a single change in position, despite calls for stricter accountability by some U.S. lawmakers. My approval of Turkey's request to purchase F-16 aircraft has been contingent on Turkish approval of Sweden's NATO membership. But make no mistake, this was not a decision I came to lightly, Democratic Senator Ben Cardin, chair of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, said in a statement. Senator Chris Van Hollen said he welcomed Turkey's ratification, but added, I continue to have serious concerns about President Erdogan's ongoing attacks against our Syrian Kurdish allies, his aggressive actions in the eastern Mediterranean, and the role he played in supporting Azerbaijan's military assaults against Nagorno-Karabakh. It is clear that we must keep a close watch on Turkey in the weeks and months ahead. Actions speak louder than words. The more a country is needed by its allies and partners on a strategic or economic level, the more it can get away with, geopolitical analysts point out. Turkey has the second largest military in NATO after the U.S. Its Incirlik air base is a pivotal takeoff point for Western sorties into the Middle East like fighter jet flights over Syria and Iraq during the Antias campaign, and it even houses some 50 American nuclear warheads.